Hello, beautiful people. It's uh, Quinton from the Hunters of Light. And today I've got uh, Emil von Maltitz with me uh, from uh, Nature's Light. Um, we have decided to do a bit of a collaboration and uh, put together a workshop on landscape photography. You know, it's the, it's the kind of thing where, you know, you, you, you go away on a, on a weekend and you think, oh man, I, I, wish, I wish I could capture this uh, vista better. Or, or, you know, where, where should this tree go in the, in the sh you know, there's a lot of questions. It's not just a case of put camera down and, and go for it. So, so we've decided to, uh, to put together a, a workshop where we'll take you from A to Z with regards uh, landscape photography. We're going to throw in a couple of other uh, surprises uh, once, uh, once the day is done and we've, we've done uh, some editing, etc. We'll look at some interior photography, possibly a couple of uh, portrait uh, workshops, etc. So it's going to be full on. You know, if you, you don't don't expect to come for a weekend of uh, of rest and relaxation, it's going to be like intense workshop, workshop, workshop. Of course, you know, if you slip out around the back and sit on a, a couch, you know, it, we might not see you. But um, the aim is to is to just try and give you as many. Uh, hints and tips and 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 uh, things like that as possible, so that you walk away with um, you know uh, your head bursting with ideas and inspiration. So uh, that's the idea. Email maybe if you want to uh, go through what um, what the the plan is, and then I'll jump in with questions and things like that. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so we've basically been running workshops in the Drakensberg for the last ten years or so. So I know this particular area really, really well, and it's a fantastic place to learn photography as well as just go and experience the Drakensberg. So we start off in Ten at Tendili Hutted Camp, which is in Royal Natal. So we're at the base of the Tugela Falls, yeah. which incidentally is now being recognized as the highest waterfall in the world. So at wow, 947 fantastic. meters, I think. It's got three main tiers, and you'll see that when we go there, which yeah. is pretty cool. Um, Are we going to do so, some, some yeah. waterfall shots as well? Absolutely. There's lots of uh, long exposure water photography. Oh, There's fantastic. Streams that are, there are streams up close. There are streams you can walk to. Uh, the, the forests around Royal Natal are exquisite. No matter mm. what you do, you're going to walk away with some really nice photographs. Right. So the idea is that Tendili, which is Royal Natal, we've got a lot of water photography. There's quite a bit of, um, I mean, in the mornings, we plan to go out and photograph the amphitheater with mm -hmm. the Tugela River flowing in the foreground. Wow. And, and, and some, I mean, some light storm clouds coming in from the top, which are beautifully lit by the sun slashing in from the side. That's on the plan. We've got to, <laughs> uh, I've got to put in an order that we've got those kind of uh, weather conditions. But it's one, of the reasons that we're, it's one of the reasons we're going in January. January mm -hmm. is when the storms hit. So right. it does mean there is the possibility that people are going to get wet, but we're always close to a lodge. Uh, you take your raincoat, you take an umbrella so that mm -hmm. you can keep shooting in the rain. Uh, I actually went out there several years ago with Joe Cornish from the UK, and we yes. had one of the worst days ever with rain. And he was like a kid in a candy store. He yeah. just kept on going around, this is amazing, we've got clouds, we've got rain. It was, he, was, he was happy. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's the kind of thing that uh, you don't necessarily want a, a, a flat blue sky. You know, you want no. uh, some sort of depth and dimension and, and excitement. You want drama. Mm. So that's kind of the idea. So the first two nights are at uh, Tendili Lodge, where basically we've got water, we've got forests, we've got the actual uh, the, the, the monolith of the mountain in the distance mm -hmm. in the dawn, with the dawn light and also at sunset when the sort of you get those crepuscular right. rays coming around the back of yeah. Sentinel and striking down into the valley. So right. that's the idea there. There is still obviously macro photography there as well. The idea is that if we get a full complement of guests, we will have three instructors with us. It'll be yourself, which is fantastic. Myself. I mean, how, how many is that per? Um, how many uh, uh, people per instructor is that? Um, it's four, uh, it's a four to one ratio. It's the, literally yeah. the best in the industry. Yeah. So Absolutely. the idea it's is fantastic. that no matter yeah, so no matter what your interests, you are going to get one on one attention from an instructor on this trip. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing worse than, you know, you, you, you're like uh, three or four rows back and, you know, you never get to ask a question because, you know, there's just yeah. uh, too many people there. So I think that's it's also one of the things that, you know, that, that uh, I'm quite passionate about is, you know, with uh, being able to, you know, motivate and inspire people, it's, it's, it's difficult to do it in bigger groups because you can get lost very easily. This, you know, it's very much a case of 
Um, you know, if and even you know, with that one-on-one -on -one type uh, education, you know, you, you if it's a bigger group, you can't just go, oh, hold on, guys, what about this? Let's let's play with this for a while because you know exactly. you kind of got to go along with with what the plan is. Um, and I think that's that's really important when it comes to. Uh, you know that that uh, correlation between uh, you know student and, and lecturer type uh, type thing or instructor. I think you put the nail on on or the hammer on the nail over there as well in terms of the plan. Although we mm. have quite a filled activity roster. I mean, from the time you wake up in the morning, which is sunrise, mind you, yeah. to the time you go to bed, we do have things planned, but everything is very flexible. Mm. If the weather changes, you go to where the weather is dictating the best photographs are going to be. Um, right. And even if it even if it's pouring with rain, there are still good photographs to be had. In fact, there's some excellent photographs to be had. So uh, at any rate, so we've got two nights at Tendivi. Then we do the rather long drive. Well, it's not long. You can actually walk it in the same length of time. But you've got to go back <laughs> up the pass, Olafia Suk Pass, through Putitichaba to uh, Vitsisuk, where we've got the next two nights. Right. And now, and I mean, that, is that drive. Amazing. That drive, we could, you know, the, the the winding roads and you know all sorts of things could happen, you know, uh, along the way. So I mean, it's uh, it just it, it'll keep reinforcing that, you know, take advantage of situations that happen. And I think that's also something to, uh, you know, to to get across is that you, you know you you can't just have right. That's what we're doing. You know, you you you've got to be able to adapt and and uh, you know, especially with landscape photography, you think it's going to be a plain sailing sunny day and all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, all four seasons come down, you know. Well, that's it. I've actually taken photographs out there past, because um, we go past um, the dam, Starkfontein mm -hmm. Dam, and I've taken yeah. shots of the of the dam itself with bucketing rain and clouds uh, passing by. But I've also taken photographs of like, um, it's called, um, I'm just trying to remember the name now, uh, Retief Clip, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've taken photographs of the road from Retief Clip. We're in broad sunlight, not a cloud in the sky, and the black and white photographs that have come from it are fantastic. So um, yeah, I've, I've, I've always come away from good photographs, even just from the drive to mm. Putitichaba or um, yeah. Putties as some people like to call it. Right. So the basic idea is that we, so day one we arrive, everybody gets to meet each other, we do a last um, sort of shoot, and then we'll have a gather round braai and, and um, get together at Tendili. Then the next day, full packed, lots of photography. We'll also end off with dinner after a photo shoot uh, at the Tower of Pizza for the best pizza in the mm, world. Yeah. Uh, and I've had guests from around the world saying that, so it's a great place. <laughs> awesome. um, the, next, the next morning was when we drive up to uh, Putitachaba. We've got the full day there, wandering around. We're going to do quite a lot of photography um, on the way there and also at Vitsisuk itself. We've got this amazing view of the amphitheater itself, as well as several other views to the north of um, Sentinel Peak, which you can yeah. access with a vehicle, which is really cool. Nice. Uh, the last morning, hang on, have I run out of days over here already? Yeah, you've uh, run out of days. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're, we're two days, uh, Tendile, the, the, the first day at Vitsi's Hook. First day. That, that would be the first third day. day. Yeah. Third day. Oh, the fourth day. So there is, it's four <laughs> days. Yeah, four nights, four days. That's right. Okay. So the last day at Vitsi's Hook is pretty impressive. If you want to, we've got a dawn shoot where we walk up to the witch's viewpoint, and it is one of mm. the most spectacular views in the Drakensberg. Okay, I've well, done this. Absolutely, we're going there. Absolutely, check. Yeah. It does require a bit of walking, though. It's about an hour's yeah. walk in the dark because we have to leave super, super early to get there mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, at sunrise. Yeah. It's moderately strenuous, but I've been up there with literally people in their 80s. So as long as you are relatively fit, you can make it. It's fine. And again, here's the advantage of the multiple instructors. For those who want to just do dawn from the actual um, the ledge by Vitisuk, they can do that. For those who want to go all the way to the top, that's the chain ladder and the top of the Tugela Falls, they can do that. And for those who want to do just Vitsisuk and then come back and do things like portraiture photography, the Lamachaya hide, because we mm -hmm. have a bearded vulture a theme yes. station there as well. So there's lots of options, basically. Absolutely. So no matter what you do, you're going to come away with great photos. Absolutely. And I think it's, that's critical to, to reinforce, you know, the... The, if if we get a, a full complement of uh, of guests, uh, we we will be able to to split the groups based on mm. 
um, either you know level of fitness or interest, etc. Um, yeah. And uh, and that that's quite important to um, you know to to put across. So it's not it's not a case of well. Sorry, guys, we're heading up uh, the mountain and you can just chill here, have some coffee and read a book and, you know, we'll get back when we get back. Uh, that's not what we what we want to do at all. We want to make sure that everyone gets, you know, the, the best experience and, and, you know, we're just teaching as, as much as we can for the, the full duration. Yeah. And in terms of um, also getting to experience new things as well, I'm a Nisi ambassador. So we're going to arrange mm -hmm. that we've got a couple of extra kits of filters so people get a chance to learn how to use Amazing. neutral densities and graduated filters. Um, I think you mentioned something about potentially approaching Canon as well. Yes, so I've uh, I've spoken to Roger from uh, Canon South Africa. Um, he's uh, he's promised me uh, a super duper fantastic lens, which I'll uh, chat about, uh, you know, in in the, the documentation and uh, on the website, etc. As we get closer to that, um, you know, I'll see if we can organise, uh, you know, some some gear as well. But the the that's that's the idea. You know, we want to uh, take a couple of lenses there for for uh, people to to use and experience. I'm definitely taking a tilt shift lens because. Uh, uh, apparently, uh, tilt shift uh, with landscape is also pretty damn awesome. So you know, it's we're, very we're going cool. to give yeah, a, yeah we're going to give a couple of experiences. Um, you know, so it's not just uh, uh, you know, there is the mountain. That's what you do. You know, we yeah. we'll, we'll give you so, you know if you may not have the gear, um, you know, for a particular lens, etc. You know, check it out, uh, see what uh, what you think of it, etc. One of the one of the advantages of a workshop like this is that we actually teach you how to use the equipment that you've got. So yeah. it's great having all of those fancy bits of equipment and stuff. But if you just come with your standard tripod, camera, lens, we're also going to show you how to be able to recreate those images Absolutely. using focus stacking. We spend a lot of time discussing composition, for instance. Mm -hmm. Landscape photography is one of those things where composition is its utmost because anybody can learn how to do the technical stuff. But the real, the real artistry of landscape photography is com composition. So yeah, Absolutely. we're going to have critique sessions in the evenings where we look at people's photographs. We're going to discuss com creating better compositions um, mm -hmm. yeah, in the field. And one of the other things about being on a workshop like this is you're surrounded by like-minded people. So it's pretty much full-on photography from the moment you arrive <laughs> to the time you leave. So there's nothing you can do but learn, which is Absolutely. always fantastic. Absolutely, and you know the 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 crazy thing about uh, photography is that there's always something to learn from the person next to you. You know, you 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 may have been doing something one way for you know 10, 15 years, and all of a sudden someone comes and says, well, "Why don't you try this?" And you know, wow, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize you could do that. So you know, I mean, I'm, I'm learning stuff uh, all the time. Um, and yeah. that's, as you say, that, you never that stop. Sort of community, et cetera, is, 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 is really going to be a, a, a pretty good uh, part of that experience. Yeah, no, I, I think so. I, I love traveling with other photographers because it is, it's a didactic experience. You learn from the, from the students you've got. The, they learn a heap of new mm -hmm. knowledge in terms of the photography they're doing. And again, having multiple instructors means you're not just getting one person's point of view, which is always Absolutely. phenomenal. Yes. Uh, the, the area we're going to is now also becoming quite renowned internationally. In the recent Natural Landscape Photographer of the Year Awards, uh, Carl Smorenberg, who's a friend of mine, he placed second place in the portfolio edition or the portfolio category. And there's several photographs from the area we're going to. And I also Fantastic. placed, um, yeah, and I, I got a highly commended as well, also from the Drakensberg. So the area is, it's, it's world class in terms yeah. of the photography that you can get there. Absolutely. And what's, what's cool is that we've had uh, Carl on, uh, to, I think was sort of the early part of last year on the Hunters of Light, uh, taking us through some of his images and a, and a bit of a uh, post-production as well. So, uh, you know, we've, He's, uh, we, we know him, uh, we haven't been on a trip with him, but um, you know, just looking at those images, because I saw that, um, that article this morning, and wow, oh, absolutely fantastic. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited about this, uh, this trip, so I hope that um, everyone else uh, is just as excited and, uh, and joins us on it. It would be very cool, yeah. And I'm yes. sure Cole would like to be there too. I'm actually doing a trip with him next year, so right. uh, we're, we're, we're collaborating on a Lesotho workshop as well. Ah, oh, very cool. Yeah, so, cool. um, so come on, book with us, guys. 
Woohoo! Call now. Our lines are open. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's that's the that's the plan. Um, you know, we've got uh, a good uh, two and a half months to go before uh, yeah. we're we're on uh, on the way to uh, to the Drakensberg. So let's uh, get those bookings in. If you've got any questions, uh, you know, just uh, give either myself or Emil uh, a WhatsApp or an email, and we'll gladly answer answer them for you. So yeah, we're yeah. looking forward to to seeing. Uh, uh, loads of people who are keen on uh, on uh, landscapes and macro and portraits and everything that uh, you know that we can uh, throw at you on uh, on that weekend. And I think it's going to be a great time. So Emil, uh, I'm, I'm so glad we set this up, and I'm really looking forward to it, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely, cool. All right, and we'll see all of you there. Cool. Cheers. See you guys in the mountains. <laughs>